Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you see from the title, I'm going to be swatching and unboxing McCart's Barrett collection. They came out with a few different collections and a whole bunch of different acrylic powders. Um, I'm super, super excited because they just launched their acrylic powder collection. It has like over 40 different colors, so make sure to go check out their website. And of course, don't forget to use my discount code Beauty by Myra. And so let's just get right into it. I am going to be swatching them on a hand so you guys can see the actual consistency and all of that. But I am super, super excited. So their packaging did change a little bit. It comes with this gorgeous card that says, Life may be short, but your nails shouldn't be. And then it's also up here at the top um, on the actual box. The letter or the note says, Myra, we are so excited to share our new all-in-one acrylics with you. This is our Barrett collection. We can't wait to see what you create. XOXO McCart. So here is the Barrett collection. It has six different colors. And let me just take them out of here so I can show you what they look like. So here are the six colors. And since this is, this is a new like packaging, a new thing for McCart, I want to go through the actual packaging itself. So here is the packaging. It says McCart Pro All-in-One Acrylic and Dip Powder System. These are two ounces and like it says, you can use it as acrylic powder, which is what I do with monomer, or you can use it with the dip powder, as dip powder I mean. Um, and so it's perfect for anybody that either does dip or acrylic. Um, the actual container is a white and at the bottom it has the name of the acrylic and this one's called Rosalina. It has the number, and I'm sure you can search it up on their website as the number or the name. So I will be going through all of them. There are six colors, so I'm going to be choosing five because my practice hand only has five fingers. So I think, let's see, oh my god, this is so hard, but I'm going to be choosing one acrylic not to swatch. Um, so I think I'm going to take out Rosalina, the one I showed you in the beginning. So each one has this protection seal and then I'm just going to swatch it on the acrylic brush so you guys can see but like I said I will not be swatching this particular one and of course I don't have an acrylic brush handy. So this is the color. It's a very pretty mauve. Ooh, it's gorgeous. But yeah, I will not be swatching that on the hand. But these five, I will be. So I already have all of the um, nail tips and everything like ready on um, Crafts by Nine. Extra long square no secret tips. So let's just get started. I'm not going to go in any particular order either. I'm just going to randomly pick. So we're starting off with Teddy Bear. I like to keep one of the seals and then this one I throw away. So like I said, these are two ounces. And I'm not going to do like a perfect application. I just really want you guys to focus on like the consistency and the color itself. Like this nail is not even the size for this but it's fine. So I really like the consistency. It almost feels like as you're um, dragging it down, it's like giving you that perfect amount of time because it's not really moving, but you're still able to move it down if that makes any sense. So I really like the consistency. And of course, I love the fact that you can use this as dip powder. I have never really dabbled into the dip powder system stuff. 
I have a few of them because I've had some PR sent to me from different companies with dip powder, but I myself haven't really tried it because you guys know that I love acrylic application. That's like my favorite thing. But that color, this color right here is so beautiful. In this weather, I know it is like, weather is a huge factor when it comes to doing acrylic nails and right now my room is super hot it's been really hot today so i already know okay so i switched over to a voiceover because i like to do real time talking like i was in the beginning of that video but sometimes I don't know like I don't really like to do it the entire time especially when I'm doing acrylic application videos I like to either play YouTube or watch a TV show or a movie like in the background so I can't be talking the entire time and I can't be silent the entire time so that's why most of my videos have half voiceovers and then half like speaking in real time or whatever because I feel like when I speak in real time, I get my videos uploaded a lot faster than when I just do voiceovers since I take sometimes weeks to do voiceovers. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to get more into the habit of uploading more consistently because I do see all of you guys' comments and I see a lot of requests to do certain videos. And there's certain videos that I can't do on Instagram because obviously on YouTube, I'm able to explain it more, have more lengthy videos, and so on. So yes, I have been getting more into uploading twice a week. And hopefully within a few months, I'm going to be aiming for three times a week. Um, we'll see how that goes. But I do have like pre-recorded videos right now. And if you guys have been following me for a while, then you also know that my um, the video that I record on now is different than the one I used to record on before. I do have a phone now specifically for, you know, videos for Instagram and like YouTube, basically for my social media, right? Um, and so I do have a lot of videos on my old phone and they're so old now probably almost a year old that i don't even feel like uploading them anymore even though they are edited all i need to do now is do voiceovers and that's basically all i have to do but i feel like my work is so much more different than it is now that those videos honestly don't even look like the type of videos that i upload now a lot of things have changed you know i use different um products my backgrounds are different uh, you know, just like little things that I am able to see. So I don't want to be back and forth with like videos that are from a year ago and then videos that are from yesterday, you know? So I think what I'm going to do is just delete all of those and just start from here, you know? Um, I know it's like so much work put into those videos. Yes, have a lot of like reviews unboxing acrylic applications watch me works like i have a lot of them i would say at least 10 videos and some of them most of them are edited already some of them have a little bit of voiceovers some of them i haven't worked on at all but there's just a lot of videos on there you know that have potential of course but like i said i just want to keep like moving forward in new videos versus going back and forth so as much as it hurts my heart i think i'm gonna be deleting all of those videos and just continuing on with these on this phone but yeah i just wanted to rant about it a little bit because i had mentioned it previously on other videos that i have them there i just haven't uploaded them at all because i don't really work on that phone anymore so those are pretty forgotten at this point but yeah, so um, as I was saying, um, the pinky, like they're not in any particular order. I just randomly grabbed the colors and then just applied them. Let me know down in the comments which one your favorite is out of the five, out of the six really, even though I didn't swatch the first one on this hand, I did swatch it for you guys to see the color um, and you guys are able to see the consistency. So I will say, 
that McCart's consistency is very different than other powders because they are dip and acrylic. There are a lot on, you know, out there that have dip and acrylic put together. Um, and yeah, the consistencies are a little bit different, but the consistency are amazing still, you know, but you, they are a little bit different, you know, so um, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying like, there is a consistency difference between dip only, acrylic only, and dip and powder mixed um, together. So as you know, Kiara Sky has their all-in-one powders, Not Polish has their two-in-one powders, and then McCart has these, which means that, you know, you can use them as dip or acrylic, whichever one you want. But honestly, the acrylics are amazing. I love the pigment that they have. The colors are beautiful. I love the fact that I got the nude collection ones because, you know, these are like the most popular ones. These are the like your go-tos, especially right now since everyone's getting, you know, like French tip or ombre. Like you can just create so many different sets with these. Um, so if you haven't started a collection yet with colors, I definitely say start off with getting nude colors first and then get a little colors here and there and then start building your collection that way. Um, I probably will be mentioning this a lot because I have received a few DMs from you guys saying like, thanks for mentioning this. And I wanna just emphasize how important it is to keep this in mind that when you are buying for the first time from a company or brand, no matter which one it is, do not go and spend thousands of dollars buying the entire collection right off the bat only do that when you love that product when you love their acrylics or whatever it may be even if it's gels if it's brushes um, acrylics dip powders do not you know just find a brand online and be like oh my god they look so cute i'm gonna buy the entire um collection of acrylics for two thousand dollars don't do that you guys make sure to just buy you know two three test it out if you love them then yes go back and spend your money um, on something that you absolutely love but don't go in it like you know with your eyes closed just because it looks cute or whatever um, over time I have you know accumulated a big big collection of powders and products that I absolutely love because I fell in love with them so yeah you guys I just wanted to put that out there definitely you know go check out McCart's new products they have so many new acrylics and dip powders um that you know they are amazing i hope you guys love the consistency just as much as i did they're super pigmented buttery and i just love them make sure to use my discount code beauty by myra and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys